And some guys keep all those papers and pass them around. I like that one part where you said, when is some member of parliament going to take up the case of our porters on our Canadian railways? Now, these men have been subjected to many years of the most unfair type of discrimination. Oh, we're recording now? Okay. Uh, name for the record is John K. Crutcher. I'm 52 years old. I've been a porter for the CPR. Sorry. The Canadian Pacific Railway, yes, for 20 years. I'm not sure why you want to talk to me. I guess the whole thing was like a ticking time bomb. You know, we were all working hard, we're trying to provide for our families, and still that wasn't good enough. They're treating us like mules, mindless mules who should be grateful for whatever scraps we got. I'm Nadine Villasine Feldman, the Director of Programming at Museum of Toronto. And on behalf of Museum, I would like to say thank you to the Ontario Historical Society for honoring Museum with the Russell K. Cooper Award. At Museum, we strive to tell the rich and diverse stories and histories of Toronto and to help bring greater public awareness to these often undertold but important narratives. Through the Derailed program, we wanted to highlight Canada's Black railway porters and their contribution to fair and equitable labor practices and the impact of their mobilizing on immigration policy and Canada's policy of multiculturalism. So in many ways, this award also honors and recognizes their work. This project would not have been possible without our community and project partners. And so I would like to say thank you to Cecil Foster, Natasha Henry, Megan Swaby, Cheryl Blackman and the City of Toronto Museums, and the Toronto Railway Museum, as well as Peter Bailey for his wonderful performance in the program, and all those involved in bringing the derailed program to life and who adapted so quickly to the many changes brought on by the pandemic. I would like to give a very special thank you to our hardworking staff at Museum their commitment and dedication to the work that we do both before, but especially during the pandemic has been so crucial to our success. And finally, I would like to thank the Museum Board of Directors for their ongoing leadership and support of the work we do. So thank you again for this award. We are truly honored.